Hi, everyone. It's time now for the 37th annual Valley Country Fair, and I have with me Mike Hallis. Mike, great to see you. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Terry. It's a delight to be here with you. Yeah, I tell you what, you, do, you guys do a fantastic job there at the Valley Country Fair. Um, it's going to be October the 17th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. right there in beautiful Valley Cruces, across from the Valley Cruces Conference Centers across the street right. there on w Highway 194. Tell us about the specialty of this. I mean, you guys donated $67,000 last year uh, to charities and nonprofits. And so tell us about, you know, how this all got started with your church and everything. It started many years ago at a small place called the Apple Barn nearby. And the first year they did that with the money coming to the church. But for all the years after that, for 36 years now, we've decided that we'll have this event and we'll take all of the money that is left over after our expenses and that will go to charities in Avery County, Watauga County, and families in need. And that's the way it's gone since then. It's grown from a very small cluster to now we'll have over 160 juried vendors now, these vendors are juried from several aspects. Number one, for quality, because everything is made, handmade, in the USA. There's no stuff from overseas that's brought in, items like that. And additionally, they're juried to make sure that we don't have too much of any one item. And we have such a rich variety of things there. For 161 uh, vendors, you can come in and you can buy uh, things from portraits, uh, glass, metal sculpture, wood sculpture, uh, paintings, uh, handcrafts. There's just a plethora of items out there. Just wonderful items that people could come and buy. Great time for Christmas shopping. Oh, it's amazing. I tell you what, 160 different vendors. And, and, we, and we talk about a lot here at the television station about how w tremendous there are artists and, and people that make crafts and everything up here in this region. And what a great opportunity for, for them to show what they do, but also for people to come in and be able to purchase them. Exactly. Th that's exactly the opportunities that exist. Yeah. So tell us about, all right, so tell us about your church also. Tell, okay. That's a very special. The Church of the Holy Cross has been there, established around 1842, back in the early days there. And it was named, uh, the, the Valley Cruises area was named because the other early explorers saw the two streams cross there. And so Valley Cruises means the Valley of the Cross. Golly. And so it's been there at various times. It's been a, a school as well as a church. And it's gone through many different iterations there and evolved into a uh, truly Christ-centered, loving community that uh, has about 100 or 350 active members in the church right now. So this great big event is put on by a church that has about 350 members. Yeah, that's absolutely tremendous. Not only do you have 160 vendors, but you also have, tell us about the foods that you have. There's going to be oh. unbelievable if people come there and can actually eat food, different types. Absolutely. We have all kinds of food. Some are actually prepared on site. For example, we have apple butter right here. And I'll be making apple butter on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Golly. And we have large pots for that. We have two 40-gallon okay. pots. We have two 30-gallon pots, 20-gallon pots. It'll take up to 10 hours of constant stirring to take the applesauce until we come down to this wonderful apple butter. And, of course, we have secret ingredients that yeah. were sworn to secrecy <laughs> <laughs> and the penalty of being struck by lightning <laughs> if, if anyone would ever give some of these secrets away on that. That's going to be tough work for you, doing all that for all those hours. We have lots of volunteers for this. Yeah. It is amazing the hundreds of hours of volunteer work that goes in from the church and also from the community. People will, will come in and contribute their time and their talents yeah. to, to make this go. And all of it goes to the, to the profit, to charity. So people do that with the, with the love out of their heart. Yeah. And tell us about some of the other foods that you have. We sure do. Uh, the ladies of the church, for months before, We'll be gathering and making items. This is the strawberry jam right here. Here we have some special cabbage relish. Yeah. And we also have Pittsburgh relish, which is in high demand. We have, uh, this is the Pittsburgh relish right here. And this one is the pepper jelly. Just some examples of many, many different items that are made by the ladies of the church. In addition to that, we've got a large display of homemade cakes, cookies, uh, pies, 
uh, fresh baked goods. And so when people come to the fair, there'll be plenty for them to either eat or take home and eat. Yeah, and tell us about some of the other food, like the Brunswick stew. I oh, had. yeah. We'll have Brunswick stew made on site with great big pots. And we'll kid some of the folks and say, how are the pot and have many possum and coon this year and, and things like that to, to, to put in the Brunswick stew. Yeah. And when we do that, some of the visitors will turn around and <laughs> look at us. And, and of course, we're joking. It's all approved ingredients uh, that we have for the Brunswick stew. But in addition to the Brunswick stew, we'll have um, apple cider that is actually made there on site. And we'll have uh, the Holy Cross uh, will have prepared uh, sausage, we'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, cold drinks. So there'll be plenty of food there that are prepared uh, by the Holy Cross personnel. And 100% of all the uh, donations that uh, come from buying these items go to the church, yeah. go to support the mission. That's amazing. All the, all the money that goes to, they purchase from you all for the, for the food and for all That's the concessions right. uh, goes to, goes, um, uh, is given. Um, and, and, that's, and tell us then, it's also admission is free to get in, isn't it? Tell us about that. Absolutely. The admission is free, but there is a cost for parking. And it's for $10 for a car, and it'll be a car full of people. If it's a large van or a van, it'll be $25. And we, e we even have busloads of people come in. So it's of a large motor coach, it'll be $50 for parking. Yeah. But the parking is really well organized. So people will come in, you collect the money, and they'll demonstrate, to, w demonstrate where to park. And it's a large area that they have there for parking. Yeah. And so uh, tell us about the music too, because you either have some great groups there, especially some local musicians that are really good. We do. We have some fantastic local musicians there. Music will be on the upper stage, live music, from 9 to 4, the entire period of the time. And we will have there uh, folks like um, Brooks Forthas and the Major uh, Sevens. And Brooks, uh, we know very well because he attended our church. And in addition to Brooks, we've got Tom Shirley, Spice Creek Ramblers, the Cane Mill Road, Steve Dunfrey, Thistle Drew, and of course the Roan Mountain Moonshiners. Yeah. It's just a perfect venue for our fair. And then uh, your, your fair directors this year are, uh, with the Story Street Grill, aren't they? You got Joan and Bernie Keel there. Exactly. And these people are professionals in restaurant management, food preparation, and they're adding their expertise to ensure that the, we retain the very high quality of food that, that we produce. Yeah. And tell us about, if you would, the, the kids area, because there's a lot, some area for yes. the children to really enjoy. Right, there, there's a second stage area down below. And in that stage area, we'll have storytelling, cloggers, youth groups doing their different things. And there's also an area, a, a children's play area, which is extraordinary. We've got pumpkin bowling, for example. Really? Gosh. And they can carve pumpkins up. They can deal with crafts. So we've got all kinds of activities for the children to do there, as well as the adults up there doing their shopping. And you have a young artist competition for that? that oh. We do. Yeah. For uh, children who are 16 and under, who are artists in the local area, have a special display area where they can display and sell some of their artwork. That's tremendous. And you actually have, the, what, the Major Sevens lead singer is someone it grew up at your church there? Well, that's right. Yeah, yeah. that uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's uh, Brooks Forsyth. Yeah, and so uh, so that's really interesting that you've got. I mean, it shows the quality of the people that come from your church, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. Well, we are truly blessed yeah. and have a wide range of ages, experiences, uh, but we have so many churches in the area in the high country that really are wonderful churches. Yeah. And uh, ours is one example of them. Oh. It, it, it's been a delight. When my wife and I first uh, went there, they just welcomed us with such warmth, we could not stay away. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's so fantastic about it, last year, as you mentioned, uh, $67,000 you, uh, you donated then to the grantees. And, and tell us about the grantees this year, because you guys spent a lot of time, don't you, throughout the year, 
planning and choosing who you're going to donate this money to. And if you would, tell us about the ones that you've chosen for this year. Exactly. And I'll be happy to. What we do at the start of the year, we'll advertise in local newspapers for 501c3s, nonprofit organizations, who would like to receive money. And the grantees for this year are going to be the Children's Council of Watauga County. It will be the Volunteer Avery County the Community Care Clinic, the High Country Caregivers, the High Country Community Health, the Western Youth Network, the Hosp Hospitality House, uh, and Reaching Avery Ministries, the Hunger and Health Coalition, and Parent to Parent Family Network. Yeah. So these are the ones who will be receiving monies from last year's event. Yeah, that's some tremendous organizations there that you'll be You'll be uh, donating and giving money too. Um, you'll also have some animals there, like Apple Hill, Apple Hill Farm is, yes. is, and they've got some great, you know, great a variety of animals. And if you, if you really, if you haven't seen some of these, this is a great opportunity to do it. Lee Rankin there does a great job. Exactly, she's a member of our church. Yeah, and she will come in and she'll bring alpacas and she'll bring llamas and other animals like that that are available for the children to see. And you normally just don't see that many alpaca and llamas in the area. But Lee will bring them in and set up. And Lee also has a wonderful variety of things made out of alpaca and some of the furs that people can buy there. Yeah, and I tell you, you guys do a fantastic job there. And the 37th annual Valley Country Fair, and, and it, I, I've been there before, and it's a fantastic place. And, and really, if you want to, anybody from around wants to get there and see these 160 vendors, you got the music going, you got a kid's corner, you got a young artist competition, you've got all this different variety of foods. Somebody could come there and really eat all day, couldn't they, and try different things Absolutely. throughout the whole day and Absolutely. be shopping, getting ready for Christmas. It's a one-stop shopping place for, for Christmas coming up. It is. It's, it's a busy weekend in the high country because woolly worms going on at the same time. And sometimes people will ask, is there competition with woolly worm? And there's not competition. Our uh, MCs at the announcements will say, when you're through here, go up the woolly worm. And Roy Craigie, who's the MC at the woolly worm, will say, when you're through here, come down to the Valley Country Fair. Yeah. So it is a perfect time of the year to come up to that high country, the beautiful color that we have in the valley there, and experience some really extraordinary events. Oh, it really is. And, and you're perfectly located there to, to combine with Woolly Worm Festival. It, when, you, when you get to the uh, Valley Country Fair, you go into Valley Crucis. You're only about a mile from the Mass General Store there. That's the, right, the original and 194. Mass store. And then you turn left as you're head, like you're going toward Banner Elk on 194, and it's just about a mile up the road there. And so, so you really have traffic coming from both directions because you've got people coming from the Valley Crucis side. Exactly. But then you've got from the Banner Elk side, if you're at the Woolly Worm Festival, all you have to do is get on 194 and come down. It's a beautiful drive. And, and it's about eight miles, and 194 in that strip, stretch is a very windy road, and it is a scenic drive in North Carolina. And with the color out this type of year, it is beautiful. Yeah, so you can go back and forth. You can spend half the day at, at one exactly. at either Valley Country Fair and then drive up 194 to get to the Woolly Worm Festival, or you can go Woolly Worm first and then drive down. Uh, the interesting thing you want to be thinking about, though, is that you're on Saturday, and the Woolly Worm's on Saturday and Sunday. So you, right. so if you want to go to the Valley Country Fair, you've got to, you've got to make sure you do it on the Saturday. Right. And you're open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, right there on 194, about a mile up the road toward Banner Elk from the original mass store there in Valley Crucis. But it's going to be another fantastic event, 37th annual. You guys have done a fantastic job there, Church of the Holy Cross. And th we thank you thank so you, much for, for doing thank all you. the things you do because the amount of people, the amount of work that you guys do to, to put into this, it takes 12 months to organize this. Yes. And then the money, all, all the work that you do then goes to help these nonprofits and, and charities that are around our, our community. That's what the good Lord would have us do. Yeah, and it shows you, it shows a lot about you as a person, also shows a lot about your church and the members of your church and how great they are and, and why you. you've been around, why that church has been such a, a central focus for so many years and, and, and been such a great place for so many years. Thank you. And, uh, I agree. But thanks, Mike, for being here with us. It's, it's always Terry, great it's to have you in. Great Thank to, you. Great to have you here with us. and. 
And so October 17th, Saturday, it's a one-day event, so make sure you get there on the Saturday, October the 17th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., Valley Country Fair, the 37th annual Valley Country Fair. And you can get there right in Valley Cruces, about a mile up the road from the original Mass Store on 194. Or if you're coming from the Banner Elk side, uh, coming from the Woolly Worm Festival, you just drive eight miles down the road on 194, and you'll, run, you'll pass right by it. It's right across the street from the Valley Cruces uh, conference center is where it'll be. It's admissions free. All you do is pay for parking. You have 160 vendors. You've got all types of foods you can be eating throughout the day. Kids corners. You got artist competitions. You got music going on all day. You just got an unbelievable. I don't even know how you can. You could spend seven hours there and still not get everything done because exactly. there's so much to do. And uh, so make sure you get an opportunity. And really, this is an opportunity for people to really see the real mountain and the real, you know, the real local. Yes. history because yes. you've got 160 vendors there that are that have crafts and artwork that are being produced right here and you just can't get that anywhere else in the world so if you want to exactly. you know i mean you want to have an opportunity to, to see that stuff and to and not look at it and then purchase some of it if you choose and what if an i could add one point yeah. this is done in conjunction with the valley cruises conference center yeah. that's located right there yeah and the land that we use is land that belongs to the Episcopal Church in the Diocese of Western North Carolina. Yeah, that's so great. it's it's a big Episcopal Church effort. Yeah, that's great. But uh, so 37th annual Valley Country Fair, October 17th, Saturday, 9 to 4, 9 a.m. 4 p.m. And uh, make sure you get there and have a wonderful day. And it's going to be a fantastic opportunity. And all the the, the proceeds. Um, go to um, all of these grantees, all of these nonprofits mm -hmm. and charities that are around our area. So when you go there, you actually are helping a lot of people by being there. And so exactly. make sure you get there. And thanks, Mike. It's great to have you. Thanks, Terry. It's and a delight. Th thanks so much. And we'll be back with more of the Mountain Television Network.